we just had another crash with Rose. <laughs> Well guys, it's been a long week. I haven't really had much of a chance to update Rose or the uh, Fly App update. So that's what today's video is. We're gonna update the Fly App 1.9.9 and we're gonna also update Rose to her most current uh, firmware update. I wanna preface this video by saying there's apparently been a few people that have experienced some bad results with this firmware update with the Mini 2. Uh, they actually cannot return to home anymore. So hopefully Rose, because <laughs> we do a lot of return to home tests, hopefully Rose doesn't have that experience and everything's gonna work out perfectly fine but no time like the present. Let's get her unwrapped and let's do this. Whoops, holy Lord, that broke, about broke my stuff. First things first, we're at the App Store. We're gonna download the DJI Fly App update 1.9.9 and let's see what's fixed. This is not for the Mini 2, which is surprising. I mean, I know, <laughs> but they've got some different words here that I've never seen. It says fixed issue where DJI Air 2S is unable to take off in certain scenarios. That would be awful. All right, recently updated. I'm gonna restart my phone. I like to restart my phone after each of these updates. Phones don't have names, just the drones. Hi Rose, where's the update for the firmware? There it is, <laughs> it just popped up, wow. All right, let me go ahead and install this and see what it is. Okay, so it's installed and it says, added reset all settings and clear all data options. Refer to the Mini 2 uh, user manual for details. Requires DJI Fly version 1.9.8 or, or later. All right, so we're on the 1.9.9, so we're good there. All right, we are successfully updated. Now that we've got the updates installed and we're waiting on satellites, I'm gonna go to the three tabs again. Max altitude is still perfect. Return to home altitude is high, so that's changed. Um, I'm gonna put that back down to 150. Uh, let me make sure that the uh, advanced gimbal set or advanced safety settings are the same. It's still set to return to home, which is good. We're not in payload mode. Going to control. Still an Imperial, which is cool. Where is, I'll gain an Expo tuning. Let me make sure that these are the same because they are not even close to the same. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna readjust these settings and I'll get right back with you. I'm gonna turn the, the recording off. <laughs> make sure nobody's sneaking up behind me. Now I got all of my settings back. <laughs> I'm gonna go to gain an Expo tuning. I, I just sat here and, and fixed all this. So that's the same 70. All right, let's go to the About tab now and I'll show you where we're at. We are on firmware version 1.07.0200, app version 1.9.9. These are the most current updates as of April something of 2023. <laughs> All right, let me get Rose back out onto the back of the truck. All right, Rose is back out onto the truck. Let's lift Rose up. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. We'll let her hover for a second, get all acclimated. We're in normal mode here. So the stick functions are a little faster than, is she drifting? I don't think she's drifting. I think that's just me. <laughs> it is It is a little bit windy, but I forgot to look at the UAV forecast app. All right, so she's hovered hovered long enough. Let's get her raised up in the air. We're going to do a little signal test. We're only going to go about a, go out about 1,200 feet, and we're going to make sure that we've got a good signal. So we'll, we'll go up about 100 feet or so. This is a pretty cool spot to fly. I don't know exactly what this pond is. I do know that you're not supposed to uh, fish here, but people fish here all the time. I think it's a, some sort of a water treatment place. But I'm not really 100% sure. All right, so she's going out about 500 feet now. And we've got a perfect signal still. Just like always, I'm sitting in the truck, and we are doing perfectly fine. Very good signal. We got 25, uh, 25 satellites. She's out 1,000 feet. Let's go out another, another 100 feet or so. Look at that. We, we only dropped a bar, but it immediately came back. Let's try the return to home feature first. We'll, we'll test that and make sure that she still works, because like I said, a lot of people apparently are having problems with that. So let's hit return to home. So far, she's lined herself up okay, I guess. I guess I'm further off the into the into the uh, marsh than I thought I was. <laughs> so she's lined herself up. She's coming home. Got a perfect signal. Everything looks good. She's at the at the proper height, and she is uh, she's coming straight back to me. Hopefully, um, <laughs> hoping that she doesn't land in that marsh where it looks like she's going. I My mean, truck's down on the bottom left here, so. It's kind of weird. The line's straight. Let's drop the gimbal down because she's almost here. I guess she's getting a little bit, I guess she's close to me. It just seemed like she was off. Wow, she looks really good right there. 
Again, a little jerked, just like always. Yeah, she found her spot. Man, it looks like she's she's gonna land exactly where she took off from. Very cool. I think she's dead on. She might adjust a little bit um, as she comes down, but that's almost exactly where she took off, which is which is great. Yeah, I'm gonna cancel this. Good deal. Whoops, I'm going up with the gimbal, not down. All right. So I guess I will use the truck as a focal point. And we don't really do rockets too often, so let's do a rocket. Let me go over to quick shots. Actually, let me, let me move the gimbal or the, the drone back a little bit. We'll use the truck as the, uh, as the um, subject. <laughs> so we'll go to quick shots. We'll tap a box around the truck. Distance of 100 feet. Let's go. Let's go 200 feet, and we'll start. Three, two, one. It should not take long because it's just a rocket. And she's getting me lined up. What? What is she doing? That's not a rocket. What is that? That is different. <laughs> That's not the same rocket that I'm used to. <laughs> Did I pick the? Did I pick a different... I picked a droney, didn't I? <laughs> I think I messed that up. Well, that actually was pretty cool. I think that we might have... I think we might have figured something out here. Now she's coming back to her location or to her originating spot. I wonder if she'll put the gimbal back down to where she where she was. Doesn't look like it. It looks like the gimbal's going to stay the same. But she is right there above the truck. That is awesome. Now she's pulling the gimbal down too. Look at this. I don't remember it being like being that that good in the past. All right, well, <laughs> good deal. <laughs> I'm going to get out here and I'm going to catch Rose. And then uh we're going to have a little talk. All right, Rose, come here. You did amazing. That was cool. Why are you, where are you going? Why are you What are you doing? Oh, you're going to crash. Oh, what the heck just happened? I think I just had interference. Ugh. I think I just had some major interference because that was not what I was, <laughs> wasn't giving her those commands. So I had sort of a flyaway with Rose just now. It wasn't like a flyaway flyaway, but it was a, it's enough of a flyaway. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't like it. She crashed right into the side of the truck. There is no damage this time. Everything looks good. All right, Rose, come here. You did amazing. That was cool. Why are you, where are you going? Why are you, what are you doing? Oh, you're gonna crash. Oh, what the heck just happened? I'm gonna put her back up in the air and see if she does that again. No satellites and no signal. Oh, there we go. We got 26 satellites with a moderately weak GPS signal. We must be in some sort of a location right now that's got some sort of interference. Let's go over to the transmission thing here. Look at that. That's gotta be bad, right? <laughs> That's interference, right? <laughs> I think that explains what our problem was when she crashed. Look at that. I've never seen it do that before. All right, let me just get her up in the air here. Make sure that she's okay. Take off. Maybe we just won't fly here anymore. <laughs> the point has been updated. Please check let me it get her into the, into the view of the camera here. Ugh. All right, she is hovering perfectly. And she's doing her little test. Everything seems good. So let me get her back up in the air here. We'll go about 100 feet. We're doing another return to home test here and make sure that she's okay. Because that was, that was concerning. <laughs> All right. Let me fly her forward. And she looks like she's doing perfectly. She, she's doing fine. All right, so we're out. We're at 150 feet, and I'm gonna hit return to home. She's turning to the right on her own. That's weird. And we're 200 feet out, so let's make sure that she can actually find her way home again. She's drifting. I wonder if her IMU is screwed up again. She turned all cattywampus. <laughs> she's not even 90 degrees. That's that's a weird angle that she's at. I'm gonna turn her all the way around. All right, she found her height. See if she can find us. And she found us. And the gimbal did it again. 
Well, she found us really good that time, just like last time. So her return to home function is perfectly fine. I think that there's just a lot of a lot of interference here. So I'm going to stop her landing here. I'm going to get out and land her myself. Come home, Rose. There you are. All right. Come over to me and let me get you. Let me uh, let me catch you. All right. That was not a problem. Okay, we did the FlyApp 1.9.9 update. We did the firmware, um, whatever it was, update 02 something, whatever. Uh, and we didn't have any problems initially. We had perfect flight. We had a good signal. We had an awesome return to home uh, experience. She found her location perfectly. We had this really cool droney that I thought was a rocket, but it was a droney and it was awesome. And then I went to land her and as she got closer to me, she just started to drift off and it was bad. And it was so bad that she actually drifted off and then she ended up hitting the truck. So there's no damage to her. There's no damage to the truck. I don't think it was related to the update and I don't think it was related to the firmware. I think it was related to the location. I pulled up the uh, transmission tab. You guys saw that line just going up and down, up and down. It was bad. I've never seen it do that before. So that leads me to a concern of the, just the location. I don't think we're going to fly here again, even though it's convenient. I just don't want to take that chance. I think that the main thing I learned today is when you get to a location to fly, no matter if it's for a YouTube video or if it's just for fun or if you're doing an update or whatever, I think you need to go to that transmission tab and let it sit there for a minute or two uh, while it's gaining its uh, bearings and just watch that line and make sure that it's stable because had I done that, I think I may have caught that and knew that something was amiss. The whole purpose of today's video was to do these updates and to give you a recommendation on whether you should update or not. Well, I'm not gonna even recommend it uh, one way or the other. I'm gonna let you guys make that decision. It was definitely fun, right? <laughs> I wish you guys could have seen my face when she hit the side of the truck. <laughs> That's all I can say. Well, I really appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great week. God bless.